Hello, hello! Good morning, everyone. It's me again, Clam from Clam Travel. I'm with Kevin and Yo. Kevin. Yay! Uh, today is Saturday in the morning. Now it's around 7:30. We are heading to Toki, and today is the D-Day for the Great Ocean Road and Otway Classic. And we're gonna meet Hugo there. Hey, Hugo. Hey, on. Good, good. Who's this? Oh, the new champion. Oh! Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Look at all the tech on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. This was the third year Hugo and I attended the Great Ocean Road and Outback Class 60 km event and it was the second year for Gavin, first time for Kevin. For the past year, I usually joined Zone 2 which aiming to complete under 3 hours but this year, we all enter Zone 1 which also means there were more competitive riders in this group. And just like what I expected, most people started to open fire once the zone started. Just roughly after 1 km from the starting line and I was on Great Ocean Road at this point by crossing this Spring Creek, I entered the suburb of Jenjo. The first climb of the three high climb started. I took advantage of the freshness of my body and attacked this climb. The first climb was the easiest among the three high climbs at the beginning of the route. Stretch around 900 meters with an elevation of 30 meters. Hugo was our strongest climber. He smashed it from the start and now was nowhere to be seen. Kevin and Gavin started gently so they would be somewhere behind me. I was so lucky the traffic light gave me advantage by staying green when I was crossing the intersection or else I would be losing my momentum to climb. Immediately after reaching the summit of the first climb between Dalfields Road and Stratmore Drive before the second climb started, with only 22 seconds for me to readjust my breath, it was the time for me to attack the second climb of the three climbs. This second climb between the Stratmore Drive and the roundabout of Great Ocean Road and Angular Sea it stretched about 3 km with an elevation of roughly 57 meters. It was the hardest climb among the first 3 climbs. I used to struggle a lot on this climb last year, but this year, although it was still considered as a hard climb for me, I felt I did a lot better comparing with the past 2 years. I was about 2 minutes faster than last year to conquer this climb. Definitely, my Zwift training made me stronger. Climbing up to this point from the Strava segment graph, you can see Hugo was attacking strong and he was more than 2 minutes ahead of me. Meanwhile, Gavin was more than 2 minutes behind of me. For Kevin, where was him? I have no idea. As I mentioned earlier, this was my third time participating in this Great Ocean Road and Outway Classic 60km category. It was also my final time to participate in this category as next year, I will be aiming to enter the 145km category. So, my target for this year was not only to complete the course, I wanted to break my previous best record which I completed 2 years ago with the time of 2 hours and 42 minutes. This year, I wanted to compete in less than 2 and a half hours. Somehow, from previous week pre-event test ride on Wahoo RGT, I managed to complete this course in 2 hours and 11 minutes. So, I am quite confident that I am able to complete between my target. Meanwhile... Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Someone just stacked up just before the roundabout of Great Ocean Road and Angular Sea Road at Belbray. Lucky she's alright. Anyway, by turning into Angular Sea Road on this roundabout, the first great drop started towards Spring Creek. This around 1.5 km long distance section with an average of minus 3.9% of gradient to drop around 61 meters of elevation. It was the first fun part of the ride. I managed to reach the speed of 42 km per hour while flying down to Spring Creek. And according to the record of Strava, I completed this drop by 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Hugo completed 19 seconds less than me, which was 1 minute and 55 seconds. 
Kevin completed 12 seconds extra than me, which is around 2 minutes and 26 seconds. And Gavin completed 18 seconds more than me, which was around 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Once we crossed the Spring Creek, the first great drop ended, which means the third hard climb started immediately. This roughly 1.3 km climb between Spring Creek and Grossman Road in Belbray climbed around 53 meters of elevation with an average gradient of 3.9%, which also where I started to see a lot of riders started to struggle after three constant climbs. For cyclists who previously had rode on this course, we all knew that after this climb, the course would turn into easy mode. So let me attack it and extend the gap between me and Kevin and Gavin. That's my plan! <laughs> About 30 minutes since we started, I arrived at the second roundabout. This roundabout of Anglesey Road and Handy Main Road, which we were going to turn into Handy Main Road towards the west direction. At this point, I completed my first 10 kilometers of the 60 km. Okay, completed 10 kilometers, using time 27 minutes. Uh, every speed is 22.1 now. Seems like I was doing good up to this point. And with the three high climb that conquered, I started to relax. And this actually costed me. Five minutes after the second roundabout, I entered the rural locality of Paraparap. From the Strava segment live map, it shows that Hugo already extended 8 minutes of gap ahead of me, which was a gap roughly between 3 to 5 kilometers. Wow! What a monster! By the way, KV and Gave were still riding together. I thought they would attack after the three climbs close up the gap between me, but they didn't, as they were more than 4 minutes behind me. Hmm. Although, this life map wasn't available during the ride, but my sixth sense told me that everything was on my plan, so I relaxed more. And this was my second mistake. Alright, completed 20 kilometers, 40 more to go. Riding time 51 minutes, average speed 23.3. <sighs> oh, let's go. So now we are arriving at the first rest station. Uh, I'm still thinking whether I should take a break. Then you go to the toilet, but try not to uh, fall behind. So, still deciding. So, with Hugo's strategic suggestion, I shouldn't stop at any refreshment station like what I did for the past two years. But I made a wrong preparation for my breakfast by having a big bowl of oats with milk and a big cup of coffee. And with this cold temperature in the early morning, I really need to take a loo. And then I was thinking, with my experience riding with Kevin, I knew he would definitely stop for a toilet break and I didn't believe he could overtake me in these few minutes. So I thought, no risk. And I decided to stop and went to the toilet. Okay, take a loo, uh, have an energy gel, less than two minutes, get back on the road. Okay, completed 30 k's. Use time uh, 1 hour and 17 minutes. Every speed now is uh, 23.6. Came to this point after I turned into La Rumbri Road in Modi Way. From Strava Life Mac, you could see my gap between Hugo was massive. It was something that I expected. He was almost 20 minutes ahead of me, Whew! which was roughly 12 kilometers. Unfortunately, I didn't know Kevin was less than 1 minute behind me. 
that's what I misjudge and cost me later. You all right? Okay, it's 10 past 10 now. And guess what? Probably the 40 kilometers using time is one hour and 38 minutes. Uh, every speed is 24. It was also at this moment, I finally found a big company I could stay with. So I could save up some energy by drafting. As I mentioned, I didn't know Kevin was following close behind me. When I saw the second refreshment stop, I immediately decided to stop for a break. As after this refreshment stop, it will be turning into Great Ocean Road, which was a long descent ride, and I'm going to smash it. I even checked on the Spot Slips app, which was used by the event organizer for cyclist location tracking. Therefore, I took a bit extra break time. Just another 15 min uh, 15 kilometers to go, and the front is already Great Ocean Road. So we're going to turn into Great Ocean Road, final attack. Finally in Great Ocean Road, heading back to Toki. Let's go. Completed 50 kilometers, 10 more to go. Use time, uh, 1 hour and 59 minutes. So hopefully I can be complete less than half an hour because my target is to complete it in two and a half hours anyway my current speed every speed is 25.3 and my current speed is 29 already complete 55 kilometers unbelievable Okay, back to Toki. This is where the final downhill. The biggest fun part of this route, it was this, the second great descent part back to Toki. It was actually the combination of first two climbs at the beginning of the course, but we're just traveling opposite direction now. With average gradient of around minus 3%, most riders reach their top speed of the ride here. I hit 56 km per hour. Hugo hit 62 km per hour, Kevin hit 57 km per hour, and Gavin hit 52 km per hour. By the way, let's look at my friends who did 145 km and passed this part while on return trip. My inspiration, Jack from Group Paddle, hit 63 km per hour, and my fellow teammates from OYCCC, Ho hit 56 km per hour, and Hong 61 km per hour. I must have passed you somewhere. I didn't even see you on the road. Wait a minute. This was what happened back at the second refreshment stop. This was a critical moment as I was stopping, as I was concentrating on looking at the spot split. <coughs> KV overtook me without me noticing. <coughs> this was the biggest mistake as I totally forgot spot split. But the cyclist location based on the checkpoint scan, not live. The location I looked at was not updated. Location can be changed massively just in a matter of few minutes, even few seconds. How long are you already here? I just like what a minute, you know, thirty seconds. I just I just beat you. I went. I just got you here. Did you stop at all? No, I didn't stop at all. I stopped two times. What? I, think I you went toilet. To start. That's why. Then. At the end. Wait, is it gaming? Nah, nah. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen, 15, 15 minutes. minutes for Gav. Two thousand years later. Yeah. Gavin. Hey! You did well, well done! Congrats! Where's the other really? guys? Two hours and a half. Where's the other guys? Clement, not here yet? No! Kevin! I haven't seen him! Well, you told me you gotta beat him, yeah? Huh? You told me you have to beat him. Did you beat him? 
I think so. It was at this moment. Kevin and I walk out from the other side as we were hiding. Just trying to give Kevin a prank. <laughs> wow, eh? Congrats, man. You did well. Two hours and a half. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You did better than us here. Nice. So these guys, I think they finished at 2.16. Um, Kevin beat Clement by about 45 seconds. How did you get here? What, what do you think I came? First. You can think I came first. What do you think I came? Third. You know that good? Maybe second. Second. I came first. I came first. <laughs> Alright, let me have a look on the time that I spent on the ride. Uh, my best record was two years ago, which is 2021. I finished at 2 hours and 44 minutes So this year was my best record I finished it by 2 hours and 11 minutes And my target was to complete in 2 and a half hours I made it! Woo! So according to this chart My average speed for this course was 26.1 km per hour And my maximum speed hits 56.3 km per hour Anyway, from spot splits My average speed was a bit different from Shrawa, it recorded my average speed was 26.1 and from Spot Split, my average speed was 25.2 and let's see how well my mates did Oh my god, look at Hugo 34.17 km per hour That's insane, no wonder he finished ahead us so much and for Kevin, 25.33 km per hour Not bad, not bad Gavin, 22.42 km per hour and for the other three friends that did 145 km category, Jack hit the average pace of 34.98 km per hour, Hong 26.89 km per hour, and Ho 23.32 km per hour. I'm so happy that everyone were doing well. For my cadence, I have an average cadence of 68 RPM, with the max cadence of 151 RPM. My average heart rate for this course was 160 beat per minute and my maximum heart rate hits 179 beats per minute And look at my heart rate zone More than half of the time I was in threshold which I hold 1 hour and 60 minutes 43 seconds I'm really happy with my effort although there's still room to be improved Woo! And a stage area uh, So finally you get to meet Jack, a uh, friend of Kevin He's one of the person that I follow on uh, Strava Alright, so I came first. What? Second, third, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> We are heading uh, back to the car just to load our bike, get changed, a lot of the stuff, and then we're gonna uh, meet up with Jack again for lunch. So apparently, I was recognized again. I'm very happy, double happiness. It's actually give me a big motivation when people actually tells you that watch my video. Like, oh, this is such a good motivation. Anyway. <laughs> So this is to celebrate Hugo be number one in the category and we all completed. Yes, cheers! Sambuka! Woo! Oh it's good. Good. I love this. Oh my god. Yeah. My favorite drink, Sambuka. I love it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe my channel, and share it to everyone. Leave a comment if you have any feedback for me.